Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing these cute little acorns. To start out our drawing, I'm going to start with the acorn on the left and starting about midway down the page, begin to draw a curved line coming towards the bottom of your paper. As you come towards the bottom of the paper, you can begin to curve the line more towards the center as if you're going to start creating the bottom part of a big U. And for me, because it's just more comfortable to do this, I'm going to come up towards the top center of my page and bring the opposite side of this acorn down towards the bottom. You can create the shape in any way you like, you're just looking for a nice big open U shape at the end. Now we can start to draw in the top, so you're going to start this line as high as you want your top to be, so however large you'd like that to be, and we're going to draw a flat line sort of across the top opening of our U shape and then bring it down to curve just past the outside edge. I'm going to leave just a little space in the center here at the top for my stem to come out of. If you're using a pencil, you can just draw a solid line and then erase anything you need to after. Once you have that mapped out, then you're going to start drawing in some little texture. So to do this, I'm just drawing little half circles all across the top of the cap of my acorn. And this is going to be the first row. And once I come around to the right side, I'm going to just start doing a second row layered underneath. Now when you're doing this, because we are just trying to create this idea of texture, they don't have to be all the same size, they don't even necessarily need to be touching. You're looking to follow that curve that you have across the top of your acorn's cap, and as you come around to the left and right sides, you can start to curve just slightly in that direction. As you're finishing off the cap, you just want to make sure that the bottom edges of your acorn are coming up to meet the bottom edge of your cap. So just fill in any gaps that you need to. Then you can come back to the top of your acorn and draw in the stem. So to do that, I'm just going to draw a small curved line. I'm curving to the top left corner and I'm going to draw a little oval right at the top here that's sort of coming up towards the top center of my page. And then I'll draw a mirrored curve back down to the top of the cap. Then let's go ahead and draw in a face. So I'm going to start by drawing out a nice big oval and I'm making the face a little bit closer to the bottom. I just think that's a lot cuter. And then we'll make a second oval over towards the right side of our acorn. Then let's go ahead and draw in our first highlight. So just make a big curve along the top or coming through the center of the eye. And then we'll place little hearts just underneath and my acorn is gazing up towards the top right of the paper. We can draw in some eyelids just by bringing a little curved line down from the top edge of each eye. And then we'll add little eyebrows just above. And to finish off the face, we'll draw a little smile and I'm going to do it right in between the eyes. So almost starting right at the bottom of that first highlight. And then let's add our cheeks, making a big curve that connects from one side to the other of each eye, sort of a little sideways oval here. And then of course you can go ahead and fill in the eye if you're going to do that in black or with whatever you're drawing with. And now that our first acorn is done, we can start drawing in his little partner here. So I'm going to start just below that center point on the right side of my first acorn and I'm going to draw a curve so like I'm creating another U but we're only going to see the right side of it because she's a little bit hidden behind. So start to curve your line down towards the bottom of your page creating the bottom of your U and then bring it back up. Again, you can figure out how tall you want her cap to be and start to draw that sort of slightly curved, it's mostly straight, but just a little bit of a curve across the top and then have it just extend beyond that right edge of her body. 
and go ahead and add in your little texture by creating your half circles all the way across that top line and you can see I start to just curve towards the right side there and they almost get really tiny so we're creating this little bit of an illusion that they're wrapping around to the back side of her cap and just keep it nice and loose they don't have to be perfect and I've got about four rows of these little textured curves and then I'm going to just close off that little gap then for her little stem I'm actually going to have it face the same way as the first acorn so we're curving up towards the left and then create that little oval on the top and bring it back down to connect This little second acorn is also going to have two open eyes, so we'll start out by drawing our ovals, one on the left and then one towards the right. And this time I'm going to create those first highlights to face up towards the top left. So we're just doing an opposite curve from our first little acorn and we'll give this one some eyelashes. So instead of just one little line coming out from the top edge, I'm going to do two and then a little heart underneath each of these big highlights for her second little highlight. Then create a little smile just like we did the first one and so their faces are almost mirror images. And then add in your cheeks by drawing in those curved circles underneath the eyes and some little eyebrows. Then you can go ahead and fill in her eyes as well. When you're all done with your eyes, we're going to draw in the leaves at the top of our acorns. So starting with our little guy here on the left, I'm just going to draw a really small rectangle. So just two lines that are really close together, curving up towards the right. Then from one side of this, I'm going to create almost like a little J, an upside down J shape, and then do an opposite one coming off of the right. Then I'm going to make another little section of these J's and you're going to imagine that as you get towards the top of your leaf they're getting a little bit closer together until you just have room for one last little loop at the top. Draw a nice straight line all the way up and then you can connect these little loops back to that middle stem or vein with some little lines. For our acorn on the right, we're going to do a second leaf and it's just going to be facing the top left this time. So again, start with your little rectangle and create those little J's. Then keep tapering upwards so you'll just be getting a little bit thinner each time. And then for this one, you might come and meet up with your first acorn's leaf or you might not. That's totally up to you or it might just, maybe it's not up to you, maybe it's just what happened. So they can either be touching or not. And then we'll create the vein lines, drawing that straight vertical line down from the top to the bottom of the stem, and then connecting with the little side veins. And I think I just wanna create a little more whimsical fun here. So let's draw some leaves in our background. So I'm gonna start here on the right and just draw a nice little curved line. And then I'm gonna do a really similar leaf to what I just drew on top of my little acorn. So just drawing a series of little J's. And this time you can see I'm just doing one side and then the other, but it's the same idea that you're just making little J's that taper up towards the top. And then you can create a little swirl. So I'm just gonna make some little loops here with my pen just to create this idea of wind and these leaves are just blowing around and draw in the little vein lines. And then I think we can do maybe another one over on the left. So again, I'm just gonna draw a curved line and this time I'm gonna do just a basic leaf. So at the top of this curve, I'm just gonna create a point and then I'm going to draw a nice big curve back towards that stem. Draw in your vein lines and then we'll add in our little windy swirl just next to the stem. 
And that is our cute little acorns, guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.